Welcome everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Today we're gonna to be adding some bling to our fabric cover just to see what it looks like for fun. Let's take it up a notch where you can level up after you're done um, gluing your fabric pieces and spray painting with white. Now some of the pieces here were blue, some were white. Some of the blues took to the white really well, some uh, repelled it and you can always go back in here with white paint and white those up a little bit um, to knock it down. Um, or you completely opaque them with, say, for example, some acrylic paint. Um, you can also paint right over them to saturate them in the acrylic paint. Um, I don't mind these blue pieces showing through. I think it looks kind of cool, but... Um, oh, quick, I wanted to remind you right now, in August, 25% off all digi kits until the end of August. Those are the printable, downloadable images. Computer files only does not include the print and mail option. But if you are interested in the printable images that um, of all different themes, there's over 200 themes. And um, uh, like birds, Victorian, tea time, uh, Paris, celestial, you name it, all through August. Just a, a quick reminder. And I do have some of the fabric packs left still. So if you are interested, there's a triple bonus with that. The old 125 year old around handwritten letter, uh, vintage newspaper scrap, as well as vintage postcards. At, uh, you don't need a coupon, a coupon or a code. And those are available in my Etsy shop. Free priority mail shipping is included. And back to the shoe. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, let me show you how the, uh, uh, cover came out. I think it came out really well. I think um, I might, I'm just going to play with this cover and have fun with it and experiment with you guys to, to add some bling, have, add some fun. There may be, this may, you may, this may occur, little areas where it didn't get covered with fabric, so we can address those and let's see if we can level up this baby. So I'm going to pick um, one or two things to play with. One is a gold and the other is more white accents. So for my gold, I have some uh, gilding wax or gilding paste. And I also have some gold paint. Okay. And I also have some gold ribbon. Ribbon, I guess it's some sort of thread uh, embroidery. I don't know exactly what it is, but just pretty gold um, embroidery floss like stuff. And uh, then I have some gold stickles. Yes, I do. This is glitter glue, basically. Gold g glitter glue. And um, let me show you the inside, how it came out. I think that came out really well. Looks good. And we're going to complete uh, the construction of the inside of the spine. So just that, that will be complete so you can see that. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I should do that first because I'm going to put glitter glue down. So let's just cover this up. First thing you want to do is check for the integrity of your spine. Um, and this spine is definitely thick enough to work with. It um, doesn't need to be reinforced with more cardboard or chipboard or anything like that because it's solid enough. Plus adding the fabric on the outside, strengthen the, the spine as well. So um, I just need a little decorative piece here and that should be easy. And as I am rummaging around, it could be anything. It could be, I would recommend a, uh, not super thin, but a thinner fabric so that it doesn't bulk up too much on you. You just want to make sure that you, you get it wider than the space needed. Um, I don't know why it looks kind of bland. Let me see. I'm going to be, hang on. Okay. I found this piece of lace. Um, that might look actually pretty. Never done a piece of lace in here before. It's um, somewhat backed, not really fully backed. I don't even think it matters if it's backed or not. So let's just quickly remove this, cut this piece free, and we will glue it in place. Oh. All right. This looks like it was a shirt or a sweater or something. Not a sweater, but um, um, a top or I don't know, it could have been a dress. But it's a pretty piece, and it will now be transformed before your eyes. Well, I'm getting dull here. And you, fabric scissor, where are you? Where are you, fabric? Here you are. I see you. I see you. Come on out of the dark. It's okay. All right, here we go. It's very early morning here. Coffee is just settling in. Hasn't quite fully kicked in, so bear with me. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect, but there we go. Okay. Do we have enough? I think we do. Yep, we're going to make it. I'm going to lose the tail. Lose that. Okay. 
I like the way this, this ruffle is there. I would actually like to leave that in place. Okay, it's a little shorter. Flatten up the top. flat. And get the length. Okay. And then maybe come outside. Maybe this side I'll pink using pinking shears just so it has a little decorative edge. Make sure it's wide enough. You can always cut off more. Go straight? Probably not. That's okay. But there's so many fun things that you can add to, to your um, junk journal to give it bling or a layer up or a level up. It doesn't always have to be bling. It can just be uh, layering neutrals on top too. That's very pretty. Okay, I think we're good. Get the Fabrifix rolling. Fabrifix clear silicone glue. This is what it looks like in case you want to see it. Okay, it's by Beacon. All right, fabric, 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 paper, paper, paper. And um, she's a flowing, but she's a slow one this morning. Like me, but we're rolling. <laughs> and we're rhyming. <laughs> um, hope you're having fun today, crafting, doing whatever you're doing. Um, hope your crafting brings you peace and joy and relaxation and wonderfulness and escape and um, creativity and it boosts your imagination, gets your brain going, you're learning, you're having fun, you're hanging out with your crafty friends, maybe in person, online, or you're just hanging out with yourself and having a grand old time. That's fine too. It's peaceful time. Zen relaxation time. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, did I go in here? I need to go on here for sure. Now I may have to put a little more glue down on the edges as I orient the piece into its new home of happiness. Okay, put it where we want it. Let's snuggle it in there. Okay, now I can see what the glory of my, my poor cutting is now come to view. That's it. Oh, that's it. okay. Why are you way in there? Did I not pull you right in? Oh, I, it was folded over. Okay, good. All right, I can do final trims later. Okay. All right, so we have that piece in. Now it's going to be the interior of our spine. Do we want to? Yeah, we probably want to tack this down a little more. Just a little more fabric. Fabric fix. Everybody's tacked down. We are good. We are good. It'll push the test. Very good. Okay, so our inside is done. We can flip it over and then we'll just play on the back. Um, thought I would touch up the edges with some gilding wax or gilding paste. This is in a gold color. Lots of different companies make this. Um, if you can't find this particular brand, I don't think they make it anymore, but there are others like, um, um, what's it called, Art Pastel? What's it called? Pentel. Pentel makes some, and they work just as well. Oh, this is my favorite. I like the smell. There you go. Get my little on here. Okay. Do you want to do the edges? Can you see? Okay. And you could also accent in white or something like that with white paint. That would be cute too. I like that idea. Maybe actually we'll try that. I'm starting to like that idea even better. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna midstream change plans. I'm gonna maybe skip the gold and go with white just to see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll just go back the other way. Okay, so I'm using some 
Apple Barrel White. And just need a piece of paper. And maybe a paintbrush. Let me grab a paintbrush. That might be easier. Okay, I got one. I got one. Here's a better one. Here's a better one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paintbrush of some sort. Here's some glue of some sort. Yep. Okay. Glue, not glue. Paint. Paint. Okay. So I'm edging with the white acrylic paint. So it's like inking, but we have white paint instead of ink, giving it a nice little white border. I didn't put too much there. Just enough to give it a little accent. It's also going to cover up that area that I didn't get covered in fabric. On the edges. And I think that's an interesting look. Yeah, I kind of like it. Glad we switched midstream. And you can do that. You can totally switch midstream anything that you have going. Mm-hmm. Yay. Oh, sunshine. He's fine. Yes. Had a very nice weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. We should probably check for glue down adherence that all those front pieces of fabric were glued down correctly, but I'm, they're not too bad. They'll be easily fixed with a little extra Fabrifix glue. Coming around the mountain here, trying not to drop uh, or touch my project, which will probably happen. Okay. So you can use a brushing technique on top of any ridges too to pick up the white paint. Well, maybe we'll try that, see how that looks. That might be fun. So even if you don't have all the, you know, extra pieces of gold or anything like that, you can always just come up with some basic white paint. Even house paint will work in this case. So if you have an old can of white house paint, pull it out. It's, it's going to have its glory day. Could need a little more, just a tad. There we go. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty. All right, two over here. I don't know what is right side up. I should probably note that. would be a good idea. I think I have it upside down now because there is writing on the inside. So just peeking. Yeah. Okay, so this is right side up. And probably a good idea to put something under your project right now. Okay, there we go. Um, good, liking that. Okay. Maybe with these bluish, very intense bluish, maybe we're just going to give them some white dry brush accent. That'll bring out the um, embroidery of the little pretty lace. If I don't go too heavy, I just dry brush light. If you want it less blue, just put more paint on. Okay, I think I need a little bit more. Okay. Do this one too. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, let me rinse this out because this will dry on here because it's acrylic paint. I recommend you rinse it out right away. Okay, so next I have some um, pieces of applique. These are fun if you ever come across these uh, to use for different accents on things. Something like this. 
trims, whatnot. This is a pretty one. Uh, there's some wedding designs in here, I think. Just never know what you come across. I mean, there's some little bit of white lace from Fab uh, Clothing. Hold on, let me rummage some more. Okay, I, I discovered some Nouveau drops in probably white. Crystal white. Chris, no, sorry. In white. Crystal drops in white. Nouveau crystal drops. Okay. Um, okay, so let's layer down maybe a few pieces of this. I do want to use the big one, I think. Question is where? Maybe here? That's pretty. Oh, that look, that works out perfectly. I could also put it up here, but eh. Oh, my God, it does look nice. Hmm. Here. Hmm, I gotta trim a few little things off this, I see. Hmm. No, actually I don't. I'm, I'm having a, uh, okay, there, I like that. But do I like it better there is the question. I think I like it better there. Okay, you're gonna live there. There we go, we've made the big decision in life. Getting the Fabrifix glue and gluing this baby down in our no-so uh, fabric cover. So we're just leveling it up, having some fun with a little adornment, bling. Um, it can be neutral bling too. There's neutral bling. I guess white is a neutral bling, right? So it can come in pearlescent form, um, lace form, applique form, button form. Yeah, I think over here. For some reason. Okay, yep, yeah, I gotta be. Okay. Um, you know what would be really cool somehow if this was splattered? Ooh, maybe we'll try that at the end. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. All right, and then these little pieces. I don't think that's a true right. That's looking cream to me. But on the back, oh, I'm like dragging my fingers through the paint. Of course, of course. But it does look pretty, but it's kind of, would it be all right? I could put one here and one on that side, and that would balance it. That'd be fun. Let's see how that looks. You can buy these in like, like length of this stuff, and then you can just put, cut them apart and use them. Maybe for like a different, like not totally pure white, but whites and creams. That could be cool. Maybe this here, here. Here, maybe. Hmm. Trim those little babies off. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Or do we want to go here? No. I think maybe there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. We're blinging. We're blinging. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah, so exciting times in the world of junk journals. More and more people are getting um, used to, not used to them, but they're exposed to them and finding out what they are and how much fun they can be. And just had a very good friend of mine recently jump aboard, and she, I'm very excited to see her have fun making junk journals. Um, she's like <laughs> so all about it right now. She's like collecting stuff and having fun and and uh, showing what showing me what she's making and it's all just good 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 stuff good down home fun good good hours spent relaxing unwinding searching for things putting together things in different ways to see what you can create okay yeah. Yeah. that's good pretty easy to do I'm gonna go to there. Okay, checking for adherence. Adherence seems to be good. Maybe you want to put it, um, some, if you buy something like this or come across something, oh, let me put this on, that looks nice. And the question is, when are you done? How much is too much? That can go there, that would look kind of cool. Yeah, I like that one. All right, you're going down. And when is it, you know, when do you stop? When do you keep going? Totally up to you. Can you overdo it? Can you underdo it? Totally up to you. Just do it when the project feels like it's done. Um, then it's done. I should put this maybe on it like this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, all right. So now I have some of this. I'm just going to coat some little, I don't know. I thought maybe I'd put some on the spine. That, oh, that would be really pretty. Yeah, let's do that. This little lacy applique stuff. Like I said, if you don't have this, look 
for lacy applique stuff on clothing that you don't want anymore. Maybe um, some curtains, drapery, bed sheets sometimes have uh, decorations on That's nice. On them. There's a matching one. I could put it that way. That'll work. Doesn't always have to be matchy-matchy either. Hodgepodge and eclectic looks very cool too. Actually, sometimes I think better. Um, well, it's, that's to the point of the observer pen. Do not decide that for everybody. Okay, fine. I, I retreat. Oh, I like that. There's that accenting on the spine. More Faberfix. Okay. There we go. And I am going to try the splatter technique with the paint. It's going to be a disaster mess, but it's going to be fun. And it might look cool. I think it'll look neat on this design. I hope. I hope, I hope. Can do it with a toothbrush, but I don't have a toothbrush handy, but I do have the paintbrush handy. That might work. Okay. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I've got this bowl. I'm going to put some white paint in it. There's a little bit of water in the bowl. I wanted to water the paint down just a little bit so it's easier to flick. That's going to be a mess. That's the way it goes, though. It's crafter world. We're going to make a mess today. Shocker. I better move my coffee. Oops. Knocked over the paint. I'm going to move my coffee. Stole a sip. Okay, here it goes. Here goes nothing. Oh, you can't see. I'm going to make sure you can see. Don't worry. Hold on. I don't want everything splattered here. So like a, just like a, a nice, this amount. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use the finger tap technique. That's kind of cool. You want to turn it on different angles. Oh, that looks really cool. I don't know if you can see it, though. I'll give you a close-up in a sec. Yeah, it's working out better than I thought. Yay! Sometimes, you know, you don't know. A pointed brush does help, I think. Oops, come back here. Where are you going? I'm, I'm trying to get more up there, and I keep getting it up there, so I need to change my angle. There, better. Come down here. Okay finger, like the tapping off the back of the finger. You can put as much or as little as you want. I think that looks really cool. Okay, I hope it shows up on camera. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Stop him. I can't, I can't like it. Okay, one more. This corner, there. There's always one, you know what I mean? Always one area. A little resistant. To having fun. Okay. Can you rinse that brush? Okay, I'm trying to get that shadow out of there, but I'm getting a shadow from my... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Um, yeah, so there it is. The completed um, cover. I think that looked really cool. Leveling it up. Adding lace, adding paint, adding splatters. You can come in with more white buttons if you want to. You can... Oh, if you have... Um, White paint, you could stamp some white words on it. That would be really cool, too. We should try that just for fun. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it's probably going to... I don't clean my stamps, and this is where cleaning your stamps would be so smart. Okay, I don't know if I can do this. I wonder if I can do it. Uh, I have the word dream. It's probably got ink on it. I'm going to try and clean it. I don't know if I can do this with paint. Probably, it's probably not going to work. Let me stamp off on something else, see if it'll even work before I put it on the project. I, I guess you could write a word, too, if you had r white gel pen. It might be a little bumpy, but... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Okay. Just make sure it doesn't have any black on it anymore. Probably needs some... Oh, I do have a little paint here yeah, left already. Okay, hang on. So you can see it. I'm not, I have low hopes for this one. I don't think it's going to work. I think the paint's going to be too thick. Maybe we should paint the paint on with a paintbrush. Where's that paintbrush? 
Okay, let's try that. Oh, yeah, let everything dry, Pam. Okay. We definitely would have to wash this off after. Okay. I don't think it's going to work. We'll see. We got too much there on that. Okay, let's just stamp it on something. I think I have more than one. There's a dark piece of something. Okay. Probably can't wait too long. Probably waited too long. Oh, it worked. Gosh darn it. Look at that. Huh. Now I got to do it. Okay, I got to go back in and put more paint on. Now, I don't know if it's going to come out on the fabric. The fabric's a little lumpier. But let's see. Okay, just a little bit. Pam, how much? Okay, just a little bit. Okay, definitely remember to wash your brush and stamp because that stuff will not come off. Okay, where? Right, stick it. Right here? Be cool on the front. I got no, no flat area. I do here. Don't wait too long, Pam. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'll put it here. Well, you can't really see it. <laughs> but it looks like another uh, blob of... Uh, you know, blah, 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 splatter. So we're okay. But it worked over there. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right. So we're just going to let that air dry. But I think it looks really cool. It's very pretty, very ne neutral, very natural looking. Um, uh, not too glitzy. Kept the tones down. Snuffer pants, do you have something to say? I have something to say. You do? Well, come on over, big guy. Okay, first of all. Don't put me in the paint, Mom. No, but hi, everybody. Sunshine here from the Paper Outpost Cup Pup Reporter reporting today to you from very hot Florida in August. We're all sweltering. It's very hot. Stay cool. Stay dry. Drink more water than you think. Oh, this is a, this is a public service announcement. Yes. Okay. Drink more water than you think. Um, get some electrolytes. That's probably a good idea. And stay inside. It's too hot to go outside. Don't go outside. If you have to, run. Well, don't run because you'll get hot. But stay inside. Have snacks. Craft. And craft. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's sound pup advice. We can't argue with that. Thank you. We'll talk to you next time. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was outside a lot this weekend. It was very hot. And um, it's good to stay cool. That's all I can say. All right. So, um... You know about the 25% off all digikits. You know I still have some fundal packs for fundal packs, some fabric packs left if you're interested in those. I also sell fundals, which are, I think you know, maybe you don't, but they're uh, collections of old and interesting papers, 100 plus pieces, everything from music paper to dictionary paper, antique ledger, postcards, receipts, um, checks, old checks, um, old post, uh, black and white photographs, tea cards, and a plethora of uh, different very interesting antique or vintage book pages to use in your junk journal making and um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, new audio material and then any day of the week you can watch video podcasts on Spotify and also I have um, um, an Etsy shop where you can sell, find bundles or journals, bundles, kits when I have them available like the um, fabric pack and bundles right now and also I have um, digi kits for sale um, they are printable downloads I told you about those there's 25% off special going on right now in my Etsy shop um, and I have a print and mail service if you do not have a printer or like to print them out um, I do offer uh, I will print out, out 10 digi kits for you that gives you 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock all I need from you is a list of the digi kit names um, you can e Etsy message them to me or you can email the list to me at pam at the paper outpost .com. and um, um, what else just I need the first two or three words that's all I'll know which ones you're talking about or you can have me surprise you or give me categories like birds and Victorian or uh, flowers something like that butterflies um, so I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies you should be able to find links for the things I can find links to in there and I also have a um, t-shirt shop that um, 
uh, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon, as we do here sometimes, and, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug, mug, tote, or water bottle. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And remember, fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.